We're in invertebrate zoology, home to our insect and arachnid collection, where we're taking a close look at a small arachnid with a big impact, the jumping spider. Jumping spiders belong to the family Salticidae, and that has the Latin root, which means to jump. There's over 6,000 species of jumping spider, and this is the largest family of spiders. It's about 13% of all known spider species. And they're most diverse in the tropics, but you could find them anywhere from deserts to temperate forests and mountainous areas. You could find them essentially all over the world. Jumping spiders range in size from one millimeter to about 25 millimeters. That's all under an inch or so. They don't produce silk to make webs, but they do produce silk as sort of a safety line so they can return to where they jump from. They'll also jump to cross gaps or to evade danger. Jumping spiders have really huge eyes and phenomenal vision. They use that most of all in hunting. They're very adept predators. And when they get in range, they'll pounce on their prey. And then they'll use their fangs to inject venom that's adapted to be fast acting. So they can quickly subdue their prey, which is often larger than themselves. Jumping spiders are important predators. They keep many pest insects at bay they're a key component to a healthy ecosystem. The majority of our jumping spider collection today consists of specimens collected by George and Elizabeth Peckham. George Peckham was a biology teacher at Milwaukee's East Division High School and would also serve as president of the Board of Trustees at the Milwaukee Public Museum. He married Elizabeth in Milwaukee and they lived and worked in and around Milwaukee for the rest of their lives. George and Elizabeth Peckham studied jumping spiders. They were essentially a team, both considered equals, and their research took place between 1883 and 1910. George and Elizabeth Peckham would take their vacations and collect spiders. They also spent a lot of time in Wisconsin, so that is where a lot of their collection and observations took place as well. And three years after they're married, they published their first scientific paper about jumping spiders. They described 378 jumping spider species, which is about 6% of all known today. And they were so prominent that one genus and more than 20 species were named in their honor. The Peckham collection of over 4,000 specimens was donated to MPM in 1911. It has all those original specimens that the Peckhams described originally, and it's still sought after by researchers today. The collection is a window into Wisconsin and the world at a different time. And that data about where they were collected gives us an idea of what existed at that time and how it's changed from today.